Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and for those of you who've just come across my channel, you're so welcome. I hope I will not disappoint but I can't go without saying to my online friends, I've picked up a few new friends as well. Thank you so much to those of you who have been giving me great conversation. A big high five to those of you who said that you're gonna be joining me on this next challenge. Okay, let's just get straight on to it. So this video is purely about the next challenge because for this winter, I've grown all this hair. Okay, I'll show you my hair in a minute, okay? So I've been growing my hair for a year now in terms of challenges and really looking into retaining lots of moisture in my hair. And most of all, the main reason why I started off challenges is because this time last year, I had had enough of the breakage. Can any of you relate? I've trimmed my hair just to get the ends kind of you know, fresh for this next challenge and ready for the winter. The winter is, you know, taking no prisoners, is, is being brutal already to my hair. My hair is in a bun right now and quite rightly so because it just is awful out there. I'm just going to show you what my hair is looking like today. It is day six, I think it is. I'm due to wash my hair, deep condition. De to detangle my hair. My hair is looking tired, flat. It's got lots of product build up on my hair. But I have to say, my hair is actually feeling really, really strong. Stronger than it was this time last year, obviously. I've already done a whole year of challenges. But my hair feels stronger. You can see my hair is actually shorter and it's definitely not as long as it was before. I did give my hair a really good trim. So you're probably wondering, Mel, just get on with the challenge. <laughs> what are you going to do for this one? So with all that said, I'm going to be using a growth oil. And this is not the particular one that Amari Mia are going to be stocking. But this is one that I feel that I, you know, I'm going to put some special things in here. And this special thing that is in here is based with aloe vera. This is an aloe vera oil infused with Ayurvedic powders and essential oils. And I kind of feel like this is a real powerhouse. It, it really is. And I will also be putting in my black rice water because this stuff, black rice water and me, it, we are good. <laughs> and the way I came up with this particular challenge is purely because I had to look at what my hair really thrives off and all the different challenges that I've done over this year and what ones really, really worked for me. So I'm going to be doing that particular practice for my hair growth because, hey, listen, I, I, I'm, you, you don't change it. If it's going good, don't, don't change it, okay? So this challenge, I am committing myself to do this for the whole of November. Okay, all right. By the time this video goes up, it's probably gonna be day three, so all right, okay. Okay, so 27 days, okay? We're doing this for 27 days uh, of the month of November, and we're gonna see how our hair is after. I know my hair is gonna definitely grow. It always grows any time I put the combination of the black rice water leave-in and the um, hair growth oil. I know that now. That was my team. So I will give you a little tutorial in a minute on how I make the aloe vera oil. Of course, I'm going to show you my sister. So here is my aloe plant that I've been growing for about two years. The leaves aren't very juicy and fat, but it will do. So I'm just going to work out which two leaves to actually cut away. You'll find that when you do cut away the leaf, some yellow sap liquid comes out of the aloe leaf. And it is quite bitter in the scent and taste. It has a very strong laxative properties to it. It can, in some cases, be irritating to some people's skin. So an easy way of getting rid of that is just by leaving it upside down for about 10 minutes for that liquid to flow out. Here I'm just getting rid of the prickly sides and cutting them into portion pieces. And I'm gonna be using that extra virgin olive oil. So I'm just using whatever measurement I want. I'm just eyeballing it and you bring your aloe to the boil and then you'll notice that the aloe vera starts to change in form, starts to get harder and that's when you turn the heat down. Leave it to simmer for a bit and then I go in with my Ayurvedic powders. I'm using fenugreek here and I decided to put in one tablespoon of the fenugreek and then went ahead and put two tablespoons of the avocado oil in and then one tablespoon of amla powder. 
I decided to put in rosemary essential oils because I know that it's really great for stimulating my scalp and it's fantastic for anti-inflammatory properties. So now I'm just going to strain it out and decanter my oil and voila. So, but, but before I get any comments, I need to just let you know exactly how this is going in my hair because I know I'm going to get in in the comments. Mm, I don't want it. So, I'm no, just kidding. I'm doing two things, okay? That, that's, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing two things in my hair, morning and night. I'm going to do one of them, which is the growth oil in the morning and in the night time. But for the black rice water, I'm doing it only in the morning. I don't know why. This is what I prefer to do and, and that's how it's going to stay, okay? Because it just works for me. So this one's up in my bedroom and it's a lot easier for me to just get on with it and just, you know, go ahead and do it. So in the morning, I'll be doing, let's just take the lid off. So make sure, let's give it a little bit of, because sometimes I have a bit of the uh, elevated powders lying down there at the bottom. So... And all I do is, I'm giving my hair an extra boost, you know, I'm just going to randomly, I just kind of cover the whole circumference of my head. And I just go like this. I just do this. I put it in my hair and that, that's it. I'm not, there's nothing special, but I'm guaranteeing you, your hair will grow because mine does every single time. And then I'll go in on my ends and I'll just... Pour some on there. I'll do my fringe ends. I'll come here and do this side. I'm just, all I do is I just knead it in. I'm just like kind of working it into my ends. So in the morning, that's what I'll be doing. I'll also be putting this in my hair in the morning. I will do exactly the same, but I will show you as a demonstration. So I will do the same. I will just spray into my roots not the whole of my hair just my roots and then i'll go about styling my hair as normal for the day and for the night time all i will be doing is going in with the um hair growth oil the other thing that i do at night which is i'm going to go in and use my massaging tool that i have i've got a scalp massager um, I'll leave the details in the link down below uh, if you want to see which one I use and that's it That's my challenge. That's what I'm gonna be doing and to be honest I've kind of built myself on this journey with my hair not to focus too much on the length But more on the health of my hair because once I start working on how my hair is healthy and how it's growing and all of that stuff and keeping it moisturized that's when my hair really grows my hair looks terrible how I've done a video with my hair like this I have no idea just trying to make it look nice by swooshing it over on one side and it still looks like it needs a good wash anyway anyway you know I am really I like to bring to you real things and just because those of you who probably still would like me to measure it properly I'm only gonna be measuring my fringe and one side of my hair we're gonna do this and i'll have to stand up because my hair's so long now <laughs> just kidding okay i'm kidding hey okay so my hair is let's say 13 and a half should we say 13 and a half Struggle life. Oh my word, this is so annoying. I know my fringe has grown, but I haven't been measuring it recently, so we'll stop there. What is that? That is, oh, almost 11, just under 11 inches. Anyway, we are going to say, we want to see change. I want to see you grow. And condition be, be very nice in 27 days time. But guys, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what concoction you are putting together for your hair growth challenge for the month of November. Let me know in the comments. You know, I might even steal something that you're using. <laughs> it might sound really good. I might just add it into my oil or my black rice water leave-in conditioner. I don't want you to give it to yourself. Just share the thing. Let me know. And if you know anyone that would like to join us with this hair growth challenge for the next 27 days, go ahead and share this video because I'm sure they would appreciate it. And don't forget, if you're not following me on Instagram, I might take it personally. Mm. You better subscribe and follow. Hmm? Guys, I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate you. You take care and God bless you. Bye.